Hello guys, it's me Bell, and today something crazy just dropped. So in the Nagamis Nightmare Discord server, there was a new channel created, and it was just like question. I think it was exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And then there was another one created uh, called with exclamation mark and question mark, question mark, something like that. And in the uh, exclamation mark one, some teasers have been shown. And here they are, there's this one, which is actually upscale. The original one was really tiny. Like, yeah, I have it like right here. It's, it's, super tiny then we got this and lastly we got this now oh boy what could this possibly be teasing so um what we know from the end of the first two games Nakamu and his parents end up in a hospital and many have theorized that the next game, if there was a, if there was going to be one, will be taking place in the hospital. And the these are very blurry. That's that's on purpose, not to spoil anything, but maybe it's a teaser. So, uh, I was going to say Toby Fox. Vicky has done this before while teasing Nightmare's Nightmares. He uploaded really blurry teasers and then by the day uh, when the day passed he uploaded less blurry version of teasers. So I wonder if he's gonna do the same with this. But from what we can see here, it kinda looks like many people have said it looks like an hospital. So that will confirm the, the theory of the new game. Um, that's all we know for now. I don't think there are any teasers released as I'm speaking. Let me check actually my phone real quick. Just in case, um, as I'm talking, new teasers are being released. But yeah, um, since we don't, we know basically nothing about what's going on here. I guess all we can do for now is speculate on what this new game could be. It definitely look like, it definitely looks like a hallway game, just like the the first Posse Travel game. So it's probably a sequel to that. But. Oh, of course, like it's a sequel, Nagmus Nightmares wasn't actually a sequel itself, it was mostly like a new point of view for the story. But this looks like a full on sequel. Now, the thing is, um, which monsters are gonna be in this, in this new game? We've we know that all the monsters from the First game are caused by by, by Nekmus past, Nekmus past traumas. But this one, it looks like Nekmus is going somewhere completely new. So, are we gonna see the same characters? Like, is he gonna hallucinate the same monsters, or are there gonna be new ones? And if they're gonna be new ones, uh. Yeah, why would there be new one if there are no memories? Like we all, all the monsters were created by the memories from the past. So it's gonna be very interesting seeing actual monsters that aren't related to Nagimo's past. Maybe just Nagimo's imagination over something he fears in the hospital. We're gonna probably see something re related to Rui, aka the nurse. 
some people have said the hospital would be really far away from the town since Nekmiu moved to a new house when he was adopted, but I still think the hospital will still be the same because hospitals aren't like there are only like one hospital for uh, each city. Like they're not really close to each other. It's like there are there are not a lot of hospitals. So there's definitely gonna, they're definitely gonna share. And I don't think Nakamu moved to a really far away house. I think they're gonna have the same hospital. So yeah, we, we might get to see perhaps the real version of the, the nurse, and maybe he might actually be a good guy and help us help us helps us. Help us help us out with this game in this game we also see that the, the doll actually returns but this time it's a different color i think this is uh, the flashlight mode it's, it's really bright here it's also really bright here as well uh people as said these look like vending machines these look like uh, waiting, waiting chairs for appointments. Now the question is, why is Nakmu allowed to roam around the hospital in the first place, all alone? I guess it, it's the same premise of the first game, where he has to go to the bathroom, and I trust I have been there actually in the hospitals. I. Uh, have trouble navigating just to get to the bathroom so <laughs> this is also gonna be quite relatable to me but yeah uh, i wonder if they're gonna be new monsters actually or the new mechanics as well like since since this looks like to be hospital theme i wonder if they're also gonna have like heartbeat theme mechanic since there will be like the perfect fun I talk about Rui. Uh, yeah, I wonder if the the old monster will come back, come back, and also if there are gonna be new ones. I've said this like three times already. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just so excited. I don't know if any prediction about this. Hmm. There's definitely gonna be something involving heartbeats, like. It, that's what I think, since, you know, heartbeats, beats, music, rhythm, you know, all that jazz. I also want to point out how good the reflection look on the floor, if, if there are reflections. I don't know if like, it is like the floor being wet, or it's just the floor being shiny. But yeah, the graphics look really good so far. So the doll is back, that's great. The doll will always be a companion for Nakamu. I guess let, let's try to dissect what, what we can see in each image. So here, this is clearly a hallway with l really low lights. Why would a hospital be so dark? Like a hospital should always be bright all the time. We, I mean, yeah, hospitals, I mean, this is definitely a horror game, so that makes sense that why it would be dark, sad things, but yeah, an hospital is a really odd choice for a horror game, but still, it makes sense with the story, so that's, that's understandable. I wonder how this is, I'm really excited to know how this will play out. There's a vending machine. Here, we, we're not sure what this is. It definitely looks like a door to me. Either a door or a monster. The floor is red. Uh, 
uh, Victor also, yeah, he's in this hallway. We also see there's also another way over here. So maybe this game will actually be free roam, a free roaming game, which would be freaking awesome. I imagine like being able to walk around, like, like for example, like security bridge. That would be so freaking exciting. Something like Slenderman, but instead of the Slenderman, there are the monsters. Oh, Christ, that would be so freaking amazing. So, yeah, it looks like we can go different routes over here. So, maybe, I don't know, there are either we need to get to a specific point fast enough without getting lost, or we have different places to go every time, and we can decide where to go. Like here, we, we can clearly see it's not like the first game. The first game was pretty much linear. We are just a straight all the way to go through. But here it looks like we have actually more directions. Like for example here, it's, it's not straight. So I think this is like just a camera, a render teaser, or, or is, it might actually be an actual game gameplay teaser. Like this is definitely a gameplay teaser. Like we have the doll on the bottom. This one I don't know if, if it's also a, teaser, uh, a gameplay teaser. It's weird because it looks really um, tilted. So. I don't think we can tilt in the game. I believe it is either a cutscene or just a, just a teaser. But this one is definitely a gameplay teaser. We have to. It is very similar to Body Trouble. But this really makes me think like we can go different rounds. Um, I tend to figure to think about how this game will play out um, oh yeah we might actually be able to see the someone return because he was in Nightmares Nightmares he he was pretty much like a ghost hallucination like he had no texture, no colors, just plain white static -y texture, texture. So I wonder if we're actually gonna see his real version here. And yeah, also, this is not a house. This is not necking with personal house anymore. This is a public place. So we're definitely gonna meet normal people here and that's gonna be really interesting. Like we're gonna there are gonna be a, a a lot of people in the hospital. A lot of nurses, doctors, and patients. Vending machines. Yeah, I can't really think of anything right now. Um, oh yeah, the sister. The sister was definitely possessed at the end of Nakamu Spotted Trouble 1. So yeah, maybe she's she's still after us or maybe she just forget regrets what, what's happening i don't know if yeah if the the final boss is still gonna be the mom i, I do think so because the mom will not be happy to know he neck was, was adopted by someone else so yeah she's definitely gonna be after the parents and neck I'm not sure if she's 
she still planning on doing harm to Nakunyo. Because from what we've seen from Nakunyo's nightmares, in one of the secret cutscenes, when you if you wear the evil Nakunyo costume, in the awakening cutscene, she actually has dialogue where she says, like, I just want you to be with me. Why did you cross the street? And stuff like that. So she doesn't seem like she's entirely angry at Nakunyu. Like she's upset about you know the action, but like she doesn't look like she, she means harm, especially like after she got she lost Nakunyu. Like you can imagine like how losing your loved one and then your own son being taken away from you. That's probably gonna be really depressing. But again, I um, I did have an abusive mother, so you know it could be it could go either way. And not staying back in this mom's good. We we don't know yet. But yeah, uh, someone is definitely gonna be after us. And oh, yeah, we also know nothing about the goat character in the first game, so he might have something to do with this. Definitely, like we know, the sister got possessed by a demon or something. Like she grabbed on to the hospital ambulance. Maybe we, we won't have any mom. We won't have the mom in this game. We only have the sister. But again, like, we know the sister regret what she did. So it's gonna be hard to. So it's gonna be interesting to see, like, if she's gonna be helping us or uh, she's in after us. Because then again, like, if she gets us, where will she get us? Where, where, where will she take us if after getting us? Since, you know, you know, she probably have to do, like, walk through the freaking road. Like, it's gonna be a long road uh, walk to the, to, like, in this mom's house. So, yeah, that's all I can say about these teasers. We got this, like, a few minutes ago. Mm. We're probably gonna get more, so I'll, I'll definitely make more videos about this in the future as soon as they come out. But yeah, I really have to go now because I have school tomorrow. So yeah, I can't really stay here much. I hope you enjoyed this teaser analysis. I might do a, f I don't know, I, I, not, I can't promise anything, but I'll definitely do another one once we get more teasers. So yeah, um, possibly an like Spotify Spotifyable 2, maybe a different title ready to heartbeat, maybe a new mechanic ready to heartbeat. Yeah, we, this could be, this could go either way, we have no idea what, what the fuck happened in this game. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this, uh, this I was gonna say this thing, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in, on the flip side.